Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the MCP card templates. For the example today, I'm going to be showing you one from the It's a Boy, It's a Girl newborn birth announcement templates. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up. To pull up your template, I already have mine open, you'll just go under the file menu and then go to open and navigate your way to your photo. Once you have your template open, you're gonna go ahead and start customizing it. You'll see there's a number of layers in the layers palette. And you can either start by changing the template or you can start by adding your photo. Either way will work. I'm gonna go ahead and actually place my photo first. Look for the layer that says place photo here. Once you've found that, you're gonna go ahead and place your photo. Go under file, place, and navigate the way to where you have your photo stored. And then click the place button. It will populate and will fill most of the area, but not all, depending on your aspect ratio. Go ahead and move the photo over to where you want it, and then drag one of the four corners while holding down the shift key. That's very important so you don't distort your photo. And you can resize either making it slightly larger or slightly smaller. Once you have your photo in place, either hit the enter return key or the check key at the top. Once you're done with that, it's time to start changing names. Let's go ahead first of all and discuss fonts. The fonts used in the template will be in the PDF. It will list the name of the fonts. You can also see them on the template itself. So for this one, we have Bebas, B-E-B-A-S, and there will be in the PDF that came with your templates, it will tell you where you can download that if you don't already have it. Then just Google for directions on downloading fonts into your operating system. Alternatively, you can choose a different font. You'll know you don't have the font if you get an exclamation next to it. If you're not sure what something is on a template, just click the eyeball on and off. So you'll see that one says sweet baby girl. We're gonna go ahead and leave that. Baby girl parents. So I'm gonna go ahead and click. And when I double click, you'll see it highlighted proudly welcomed by and the name of the parents. So let's go ahead and change this and we'll say that this person's parents' names were Steve and Marie Smith. You would type that in and then click the check mark at the top of your screen. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to the baby girl's name. Let's say this baby girl's name was Alyssa Lynn. And I don't like how it's taking up so much room. So I'm gonna actually just come in here and hold my left click down and highlight that. And I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller by coming at the top toolbar. Let's go ahead and make this maybe 125. And that looks good. You can reposition it wherever you'd like. And then let's go ahead and change the date, the specs. So right now it says 1010. Let's go ahead and say she was born on March 10th of 2012. And let's say she was born at 315 and weighed six pounds and let's say nine ounces. And let's say she was 19 inches. You'd go ahead and add all that and click the check mark. And now your first side, the front of your announcement is done. You are welcome to also change colors if you're not happy with the colors and also change any of the elements. To change colors, you would click on any of the boxes that have a big color swatch next to them. So let's say we didn't like the orange color and we wanted to change that. We could go ahead and click double click and then we could sample a color, for example, in her hair bow. Also, if you want to change any of the elements, for example, the baby ribbon. To change the ribbon, because there is no box next to it, we're gonna go under layer, new fill layer, solid color. And then we're gonna click okay. And let's go ahead and say we wanted an orange color. We'll go ahead and come in here and pick an orange color and click okay. You'll see it does cover up most of the template. Anything that's below it is covered up. We need to add a clipping mask. To do that, we're gonna go between the two layers while holding down your alt or option key. When you do that, you'll see intersecting circles. And once you see them, you're just going to, while holding down your alt or option key, you're just going to click with your left mouse button. And it will do something called a clipping mask. And now you'll see that color is orange instead. Next, let's go ahead and do the back of the card. You'll see for the back of this card, it's pretty simple. It's got the ribbon 
and it says yourstudio.com. To change yourstudio.com, double click on the text key, type in the name of your studio. So let's just say it was mcpactions.com. And again, click the check mark at the top to accept your changes. You could again change the ribbon color if desired, and you can add a photo in here. So we're gonna go on the place photo here layer, go to file, place, and let's go ahead and find another one of this newborn. And we're gonna click place. Once your photo populates, again, you want it to take up the entire space. So I'm gonna hold down my shift key and drag so that it fills the entire area. Move it where desired and then click the check key or enter or return to accept your changes. Here's a few extra notes. There are guides built into all of our templates. These help with bleeds if you're doing press printing. If you're not, they'll be a lot less relevant, but these will help you know what areas may get cut off in the print process if you're doing two-sided print press. Also, if you wanna get rid of your guides, we have some that have center guides also, and if those are bothering you while you're designing your card, go ahead and just turn them off. To do that, you're just gonna go under the view menu, and then you'll just do clear guides. Once you've cleared your guides, you'll see your template doesn't have them on there anymore. However, just make sure you don't go to the edge and accidentally have areas get cut off. Also, these templates are in sRGB mode. So make sure if you edit in Adobe RGB that you either switch your template to match Adobe RGB or you switch your photo to sRGB first. To do that, you'll just go under Edit and Convert Profile. Make sure when you do that, that you have your extra area on here so you can make sure that you do not flatten to preserve appearance if you're flat if you're actually doing this to your template. Lastly, MCP Actions is not responsible for any printing errors, so make sure that you change all the necessary layers when you do your card. You do not want to leave something on that says your studio name or the name of somebody else's child. So make sure you change all areas as necessary. Thank you so much for watching. And please come back. This is Jody from mcpactions.com.